Hey guys, this is part 2 video of Rhino tutorial on Bombay Dis Sapphire Distillery and uh, we will be achieving uh, this the output. Uh, so let's just get started already. So since we have a base, now to get our framework, our structure, let's be using extract isocurl to extract the curves from the surfaces that we have made, our base surface. Uh, and let's just mark out all the curves uh, which require the structure and the curves uh, they take the form of the shape uh, in which you don't really have to put a lot of effort in this uh, and I like this command because it's much more faster and easier where you don't have to draft the curve individually uh, where you can extract the curves from the surface itself by just pointing or placing on the surface of which valley or which hill or the curve that you require and it takes the form pretty well and it takes the curve quite accurate so uh, we'll be doing this for both the structures and uh, well yeah this is a bit confusing whether you have selected all the curves or which curves are left so if that's the case which uh, which I'll be showing you in the second structure uh, so you can turn off your surface and then you could work accordingly uh, basically you don't really lose track of your curves unless you press an enter or you escape it that's only when you lose track of the curves uh, otherwise the curves are always highlighted in a different color when you're creating them so it is quite prominent and uh, you know that the curves are these, these segments have curves and these don't have so just make sure you don't press enter until you're done fully or press escape okay so once that is there we have a framework ready so once our framework is ready all we need to give is, is, is thickness and the form of uh, like an angle clit or uh, the structure remember that's uh, holding the glass uh, together intact uh, so for that Uh, so for that we will use the polyline to draft the angle clit uh, uh, according to the dimensions that required and now since we have like 16 sides uh, what we can do is we can use polar array uh, to make it much more easier instead of drafting each angle over and over again at a different angle for that we can use polar array which is uh, similar in AutoCAD all you need to do is you need to first select the polyline and then put in the number uh, of sides which is 16 and then you need to select the center point and then you need to uh, give the angle uh, which you could just uh, click on the last uh, point and you get your array so we, uh, we uh, the same thing can be repeated for the second structure uh, polar array make the polar polyline and then uh, put in the number of sides once the number of sides is there you select your polar area polyline uh, select the center then once the center and then select the last point uh, and you get your polar array done uh, okay so once that is done now we have a the we have a structure and now the f curve and then we have our section so all we need to do is we can uh, the command next is be sweep uh, with that uh, we can get we can sweep the the polyline along the curve uh, in the organic form that it has uh, and it would uh, it would take up the form and this is how we get uh, the edges are a little bit unfinished uh, so yeah and in this case um, while I was working on this uh, I initially thought that I initially thought we had uh, your points your your curve and your section had to meet at had to be had to intersect but uh, it's not really necessary for them to intersect uh, commands such as if you just select the section and 
the curve so first you select the section and then you select the curve the uh, the extruded iso curve which you have done uh, which we had done initially uh, it takes the form uh, we'll just finish up all the iso curve we'll have to do it individually apparently uh, since all uh, the curve is not uh, a symmetric curve it's uh, a little bit asymmetric and the form is asymmetric form it's organic and uh, which you will have to manually do uh, do them individually well, there's a second option there's a second method in which you can uh, use to make your framework which is extrude curve along curve this uh, so you and right now this is the period you have multiple options and choices in which you can uh, use your command which works better and faster I feel extrude curve along curve is much more efficient because in this uh, if you see even though the section is not along it's not along the it's not uh, intersecting with the curve section curve sectional curve or whether it's not even whether it's a little bit further away but still the curve frame it creates it by understanding oh this is the section and this is the curve and this has to take the form of the curve so even though they are like few millimeters apart but it still takes the command it understands it and it runs it though it might take a little while for it uh, to process it in the first two three uh, goes but if you do it like more than three four times uh, it understands uh, the command and it automatically just does it without prompting any error so this is one thing that I like about Rhino it's much more smarter made it sure it's a polyline and not a single line otherwise you'll have to do two individual lines but apparently uh, there is some some problem sometimes when you create you have to do you have to run the command twice for it uh, to for it to take the curve And yeah, once this is done, we can the same thing has to be. Uh, we'll have to repeat for the second structure. So whenever I work, I always make two, three structures so that if I make an error, I can. Oh, when I'm trying different options, exploring different commands, uh, I have like another backup ready, and I don't fudge with the structure. I make a copy of it and then I use different commands and options to see. Uh, so now we'll be using. The material tool palette of Rhino. Um, the Rhino materials uh, there is inbuilt. Uh, for that, you'll have to load in the materials. Uh, the render that Rhino produces is not as great as Blu-ray, but yeah, it is good enough. Uh, 
so there is like one way that you could select the material and place them one by one But when you try uh, selecting all the curves and then when you apply the material on it, it doesn't really work that way because it only selects one surface. So there's another faster method uh, of selecting all the surfaces and then giving a material. Is uh, You need to select all of them first and you need to open the property tab and under the property tab uh, there is something called as match and in that is when you match it according to one of the curves that you've already done like a reference point to so like a reference uh, material that you've given it so it matches as per whatever you have given that curve so it matches the color the line type the property and everything so this is something that you even see in autocad match properties it's quite common um, and uh, even you see it in powerpoint presentation so this is like a really very simple and easy command tool that really makes it easier so for that you have to make sure that whenever you're working like on a large project you make all your material all your structures which is one type in one layer so it becomes easy to select rather than going and individually selecting it so you could just select the layer and then in the layer you could give it the material so that would be faster so the better th you organize your file the better and faster it is for uploading more materials all you need to just click on the plus and it opens up to the material folder that you already have uh, of rhino and uh, based on that you could just in, uh, load in the materials that you require and name them it will be better if you name them so that it won't be confusing I mean since this is a small one you don't have much problem Later on when you have like a bigger project so you have different materials so it will be too confusing so it's always better organize your materials your layers properly even in photoshop or maybe anything always organize them uh, I could make a third part if needed on the materials like you see the material as you see it's not placed properly in Rhino um, the texture position so uh, I did edit that but I apparently didn't put it on the video so if you guys want it do let me know I could edit that in the video as well thank you guys for watching hope this helps